Good afternoon, everybody. As promised in my previous video, I'm coming on to show you uh, a few more of the things that I've been making and um, trying to get rid of my stash. And um, the first thing I came up with was these uh, covers for little notebooks. Now, I had these little notebooks, which had a very flimsy cover on the front. Uh, it was kind of, well, it was really flimsy paper. So I had amongst my things in my box some, some very thick paper, which, you know, almost card-like. So I decided to recover these um, little notebooks with this paper instead. So I mean, it was very simple. I just took the old one off and then I just covered it with the new one, which, um, you know, it was no, nothing major. So I had five of these little notebooks. So these are the five that I did. Uh, these three and then these two. But anyway, I thought that was a good way of using up some some paper and um yeah i mean i suppose i could have made make we could make little notebooks quite easily ourselves with copy paper or lined paper and do the same thing then um i i thought well i want to make something with the embellishments and rosettes that i had made so i made five cards just very simple i just use some pretty paper uh, from the stash Let's see if I can just get this up a bit from the stash and then I put a line of plain paper matching in some way the background um, and then on top of that I put one of the embellishments that I had made and uh, and then I just decorated it with some gems so this is the first one they're all pretty similar. <laughs> this one is uh, one of the rosettes. This is one of the rosettes I made um, when I did the tutorial. And uh, this rosette matches the paper, the background paper here. So then I used a pink banner to make it look a bit more like a rosette. And here it says celebrate. And here up here it says happy birthday. And I thought it came out quite nicely. And here, I have to confess, there was a mistake. <laughs> Something happened here that I had to cover up. And um, just by chance, I'd been given this beautiful um, trim of this multicoloured flowers. And it was just perfect. Picks up all the colours of the paper. And so I stuck it there. Covers a multitude of sins. And just put a gem in the middle. So... It's always good, isn't it, to be able to rectify our mistakes in some way or another. This is the second rosette I made in the tutorial. And again, I've made a banner, but this time I've done it diagonally. I had this sentiment which just says, birthday, birthday, birthday. I, I had a piece of paper which had lots of sentiments on it, so I just cut that one out. And again, I just decorated it with some, some gems. The third one um is this very pretty piece of paper which i had and um because it doesn't quite fit the the page and it looked a bit strange i rounded the corners and of the mat and it look looks better now and then i put um a banner but with yes a, a banner this way so I just tag flag the ends and use this particular embellishment on the top and finally, this this one, um, which um, well, it's pretty similar. I haven't got anything else to say about it really. So that was that was those. And then I have some um, after the hunky dory kit. I also have a floral kit um, from another company, which I've had for years really, and. I thought, well, it's about time, you know, I got rid of this paper, really. So I thought I would start making embellishments with and cards with this kit. I haven't got very far, but uh, this is the first one I made because I was making those little cards with the Hunky Dory kit. So I thought, well, let's carry on. So this one is a bit like um, a gatefold card with this sentiment on the top. 
you put it around this way. It doesn't work because the sentiment isn't in the right position, but it could be like an envelope or a satchel or something. Anyway, this, this sentiment says for you. Um, and I've just rounded the edges of, of this part of the card um, because the sentiment has kind of a rounded edge. I thought it, it looked better. So that's that one. And then I made this try easel. No, that's not the word. Easy, easy, I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, it's one of those swivel easel cards and it goes into a triangle. So this is one of the um, images from that paper kit I was just talking about. It's beautiful rose. And I have in mind a, a card for a friend of mine who just adores roses. So I thought this could be really good. So I matted it up on some matching, not matching, but it kind of um, coordinating card. And then I put this shiny green card underneath, which I had in my stash, so a bit of green. Um, I put some of, some of the coordinating paper behind. This was um, one of the die cuts that came with the kit, which is the same rose as on the front. And then I just put birthday wishes there in, um, and I embossed that. So, so that is the card, so it sits like that. And then it stands up like that. So, so those are all my makes that I can share with you at the moment. Um, but I've been trying to sort of rationalize how I can sort things out because this box that I have is full of different sized papers and, um, and different sized papers and different, different things and, you know, sort of ruffle through it and everything. So I thought I would try and separate things a bit. So what I've done is I've, I've got a, a folder here which says border strips. So anything that's pretty and that I can use as a border in a card, put in here. And I'm thinking that I'm just going to get a file and I'm going to have more of these pockets and just separate them out so that it's easy to, easy to go for. So that's one thing that I've been doing. Another thing I did was I had some papers which I really didn't like very much and thought I'm not really going to use these papers in um, in my projects really particularly you see these sort of browny colored ones uh, they're not my style at all so I thought well let me cut them down to make uh, envelopes for pocket letters so I've cut them down to the right size to make an envelope for pocket letters and I've just put them all together in this bag with the dimensions that I need and what I need to score at to make the envelopes. So I've got that ready, you know, for a pocket letter the next time I, I do one or when I need an envelope. And then um, I've also, I'm also going to have a file for scraps of white card, for stamping and for embellishments. And finally, finally, no, not quite finally, um, got this this bag which has got all of the thin strips of paper for making the Harlequin cards. So I'm just tucking any of those in there. And and then these strips for rosettes. So that's my idea. So when I instead of just throwing the scrap paper into the box when I'm you know when I finish I thought well let's let's be a bit tidier and let's be a bit more systematic and then that way I can um, reach the things more easily, I can see what I've got, etc. And then finally, I've got this bag, which with tiny scraps, because these will be for embellishments. And so I hope with this system, it will be, it, things will flow much, much more easily and, you know, I can see what I've got better and be more inspired. So that's all for now. Um, thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely rest of Sunday and, um, and a good week ahead. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.